Look at Raj. Go on, Raj. Let me shoot this in there. Peace. What's up, y'all? This is Common, and we here on Common Well. This episode is called The Food. I love good food. I love great food. I like to eat with my friends. And one thing on my quest to being better that I learned is how important foods are to us feeling better, looking better, creating better, being better. I started on my quest and started meeting different people. And one of the people that I met was Chef Lauren Vanderpool, the queen of greens. And I'm gonna tell y'all how I met her. I was doing a film called Love. We were shooting in Baltimore. I needed a chef. In comes Lauren Vanderpool, but she was delivering the meals at the time, and I would freeze them and, and get them, and they were good. Then she said, man, is it a way I can cook for you? Like, in person, I want you to have that experience and taste the foods fresh. I was like, yeah, so we set it up on my trailer. And when she did, it was just, oh. Everything changed, you know. These foods gave me energy and life, and I love that. So now I'm able to eat Lauren's food, and it's a blessing because uh, I learned a lot from her. Lauren is chef for everybody from Serena and Venus Williams to Stevie Wonder to Patti LaBelle to so many, she'll name the people. But more than anything, it's about who she is and the love that she does with her food. So we gonna get into this episode of the food. This is Common Well. I'm excited, I'm geeked up. This is my homie right here, Chef Lauren Vanderpool, Queen of Greens, and we right here on the scene. It's all love supreme right here on Common Well. Let's go. You, you from the hood? Yeah. From D.C.? Yeah, murder capital. When did you get introduced to even like saying, okay, I'm gonna eat healthier? What was that like? Cause you, I mean, obviously you grew up eating. Eat hot Cheetos, chicken wings and mumbo sauce, honey, all of it. From Yum's? From Yum, mm -hmm. at 16. I was in a crew called the Young Thug Bitches. I know, I know you can't tell. <laughs> you know, for me, my vegan journey was overnight. And I went inside the house of Kemet. And the first book I saw was Heal Thyself. I read this book in a day. I'm not the type to read a book in a day. I was barely yeah. reading a book. Right, right. <laughs> well, what was it that got you? What do you think it was? I read it, The Intention, Queen, Queen of Four. Y'all need, yeah. need to know, Hell Thyself. What really got me is that she highlighted the different levels of being a vegetarian, yeah. right? So it's like basic vegetarian, right. then there's vegan, then there's raw food, then there's fruitarian, then there's breathitarian. I looked at it and I said, well, I'm gonna go with raw foods because I'm Leo energy, I wanna do the best. When did you discover for you that it was like a divine expression as far as cooking goes and chefing? I started to understand the power in my hands um, when I was 16, when I first started on this path and I became a raw foodist and I started my business selling raw foods. I wanted it to be sacred. I wanted it to be special. It was like me tapping into what people consider to be make-believe, but it's yeah. very much not the make-believe. This yeah. is the real. Yeah. And you're tapping into the source, the energy, and you're pulling that down into your hands and you're like putting it into the food with the intention, with the love, with the extra taste. Let me put this little extra, yeah. put a little flower, let me, you know. Yeah. If I make a, a juice, to write I am love on the bottle because I understand the power of the words. Honestly, that's where a lot of my information came from the community. Reaching out and yeah. finding a community who understands this. Oh, okay, well I did this, you know, oh, I do this. Protein like nuts and, and seeds and, you know, certain types of peas and beans and things so like that. So those are good places to get you. protein. Oh yeah, absolutely. Cause some right. people go vegan and they don't understand how to balance. Yeah, right? that's where I was. If yeah, you might just be trying, oh yeah, well I'm gonna eat these grapes. Well, you need yeah. more than grapes, baby. Right, right. <laughs> you need some almond butter yeah. attached to those grapes, yeah. some apples, some other, they don't have to be boring. Right. You know, you can turn them into all kinds of things that you would never even believe. Yeah. It's really just eating more of the, the right thing. Right. You know, sometimes if you're vegan and you're eating so much fake meats and so yeah. much soy and yeah. all of that stuff, that stuff will bring you down, especially if you're a woman, well, you can get fibroids because the over amount of estrogen. And for men, it could cause you to feel a little bit, you know, a little, yeah. little soft. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want that. Right. Right? Yeah. You want to feel powerful. I remember in my 40th birthday, we had a great time and we were having a conversation me and Kanye was really concerned about the violence going on in Chicago. Mm -hmm. and everybody was giving a perspective about what we can do, solutions. And you was like, I think it's in the foods. Mm -hmm. And everybody just kind of stopped Ye being like, hold on, I need to hear this because 
nobody had ever heard that as being a factor. Because the revolution starts within. Yeah. Gil Scott Heron said it best. Right. It will not be televised. The reason why it won't be televised is because it starts within. Yeah. It's happening inside of us. We're eating every day. Yeah. And when you think about the hoods, you see liquor stores, corner stores, everything is poisonous. That's what keeps you on a low vibrational frequency. So food is foundational. If you're eating poison every day, every, and you're not digesting, so you have a cemetery inside of you. Mm. Death inside yeah. of you. So yeah, it's gonna make you angry, it's gonna make you bust off. And it's like, no, we have to take accountability for yeah. who we are. We are gods and goddesses. Yeah. We have to get back to the very basics. What are we drinking? Yeah. What are we eating? Yeah. What are we saying to ourselves? What's our inner dialogue? Yeah. You know, what are we allowing people to say to us? That's a part of consuming. Yeah. What are we consuming on all levels? Once we check that and be like, oh, okay, hold on. And it's very simple to shift. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, we are. Uh, we go into the kitchen. As Lawrence has just said, I'm never in the kitchen, you know, not ever, not trying to cook or anything. So this is a step for me, and I'm grateful. So Lawrence gonna take me and us through the steps of what we can do to start. I thought that we keep it simple mm -hmm. and keep it raw, keep it vibrant. So of course we have a salad, but what is a salad without a dressing? Yes, I mean, right. Dressing. So the dressing. Super simple, you probably have most of these ingredients in your kitchen. We've got some raw red onion, maple syrup, organic prepared mustard, cilantro, green onion, grapeseed oil, and some, and I'm gonna show you. So you could use pink Himalayan sea salt, you can use coconut aminos, this is what we have, and I'm all about using what we have in the kitchen to make anything delicious. Now I'm gonna show you. Oh my God, I love it, Raj, because you're corny. <laughs> we can go ahead and we can start making our cilantro maple mustard dressing. Are you yeah, ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's do, Let's it. do it. Let's do it. Okay, Raj, so you know, I'm putting you to work. Okay. This feels great. <laughs> oh, man. First time for everything. Let's go ahead and add in our maple syrup. Just pour it all in. How much is this? This is about one fourth of a cup. We'll go ahead and add the um, onions. We've got about a quarter cup of onion. Then we can just drop the mustard in there. Cause I've watched you at times. You just come yeah. up with stuff like, it's, cause it is a creative process for you. It's just like when you're freestyling. You're so confident in your ability to do it that you don't want to really have a plan. Cause right. then it takes the fun out of it for you. I like to just get in there and see what ingredients I have and freestyle it. So even with this uh, dressing, it can be flipped so many different ways. Right. And I want to encourage everybody out there to remember to have fun when you're making food. This is about you. Maybe you like basil. Maybe you like the green onion. You can do whatever you want. It's really no rules. So let's go ahead and add in our, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> We're gonna add about two tablespoons. So keep going. All right, boom. Boom shakalaka. Boom. 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 Now let's pick our herbs. Cilantro, yep, that's mm -hmm. perfect. Yep, and just kind of break it apart. Now we got a little of the green onion. Just break that bad boy off. Boom, and then, mm-hmm. Look at Raj, go on, Raj. Let me shoot this in there. Hey! So now it's time to blend. So we want to start it off at a lower speed. Click that button. <laughs> You like that? Boom. But I wish you all could smell this. Oh my goodness. It smell good. Huh? Right here. So here, let's get get your grandmama house. Let me taste that. What's mm. it giving? Mm, that's really good. I love that. You did a great job, Raj. Mmm. Oh. That's the dressing, y'all. We're about to make one of your favorite sauces. Okay. This sauce can be swerved several different ways. Yeah. But this is how we gonna make it today. How we gonna make it. We got cashew butter, dates, pecans, cold pressed extra virgin coconut oil. Grab your coconut oil. Okay. And then you're gonna add half of that into it. Pause. Okay, you're gonna pour all of your cashew butter. It's a quarter cup of that. We're gonna open up the dates mm -hmm. because they have the seed inside. Take them out and then pop them in. Ooh. Let's go, let's go. Let's add a couple pecans. Okay. A pecan, do you say pecan or pecan? I say pecan. We're gonna yeah. add a smidge of water. Pause. Oh. Oh. 
So, do you remember how to do this? So we might need to scrape it down a little bit. Ooh, look at that. It's too thick. Yeah, it's so too what we thick. need we need, some, is we need some agua. I got rice milk. Can you try yep, rice? Yep, we could do we could do rice milk if you like. This is called on the fly freestyle, yeah. right? So we're gonna add some of this. One, two, three, five. Boom. We're gonna add a little cinnamon to this. Watch that hand. <laughs> and you know what we're missing? We're missing a pinch of salt. So we're gonna add a pinch of the sea salt in here. Boom. I think we're good. Mm. Add a little dollop over here. We're gonna cover it with a Lara bar. We're gonna crumble the Lara bar on okay. top of it. Ta da! <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is crumble this Lara bar, which is so delicious, full of nutrients, proteins. And that's the cool thing about healthy foods in general, is that it tastes so good that you feel like, wow, am I eating dessert? But no, you're eating something so healthy for you. The Rashid and Lauren extravaganza experience. The final recipe, Rash, we're gonna make a simple smoothie that's great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or even a snack. It's a superfood smoothie. You can really add any kind of fruit you like. We've got acai, maple syrup, frozen strawberries, mango chunks, cherries, spirulina, and chlorella, and a mixture of coconut milk and almond milk. Let's just start adding them in. Okay. Got the strawberries. Strawberries in there, let's okay, go. Okay, let's go. Now we got the mango. Mango. <laughs> You know, the first time I cut mangoes was in the light video. It was like, yo, we need you to cut a mango. And I didn't know how to do you it. You look, actually, you look like you were an expert. I hate when I gotta do cooking on a, in a film or, 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 you know, cause I haven't done it, so well, I- Well, that's why we doing, you're yeah. gonna be an expert. You're gonna be showing off. Your spirulina and chlorella. Mm -hmm. Add half, cause I added quite Plus a bit. Yes. Super food, cell regenerator. So we got some maple syrup here. And then you can pour all thing. of that. Mm -hmm. Boom. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Look how pretty that is. Yes, it's you might a... have to rename it into Lady in Red, honey. You know, I like my shakes thin. That's pretty thin. That's and we can always thin it out if yeah. it's all your preference. Good days. Great days. You like it? I like it. I really like it. Well, there we have it. So we just got to rock it with the Queen of Greens, Lauren Vanderpool. It really makes you realize that you don't have to do a lot to change your diet or to eat healthier. It's just adding things and taking a step, maybe adding some greens. And it tastes good. The cilantro maple salad just it was it's banging. The foods are healthy, but they also are good. They don't have to be separate. I hope y'all enjoyed yourself and um, had a good time and also got something out of it so we could take that first step towards us being holistically healthy, us being well, us being in the best spaces we ever been in our lives. I know we can do it. Let's get to it, all right, y'all? This is Common Well. Appreciate y'all being here. Love. Peace, I just want to say thank you to Lara Bar for donating to Black Women for Wellness, which is a beautiful organization that helps expand healthcare for black women and girls in the state of California. We appreciate you guys. Love.